Right, the guys, watching the Geek Samurai, and today we're talking about Revenge of the Sith. Yes, let's go. Um, we'll turn this off. Apparently, it's five seconds. So one, two, three, four, five. Turn off. Thank you. Um, let's talk about Revenge of the Sith. I this is my favourite Star Wars movie. I loved it as a kid because the bad guys kind of win, and it's odd to see the good guys lose. So that kind of blew my mind a bit. Uh, so there's that to deal with, but let's go. So it's all about uh, Anakin lost his mom. He had visions before. Now he's having visions about Padme dying, and he wants to prevent Padme's death, really, which is the whole thing. Now, that being said, uh, the council are kind of on Anakin's back and kind of dis discluding him, I guess, a bit, and the, the Emperor is kind of being good and bad he actually plot twist he's not good he's actually bad you know he's trying to corrupt anakin and he does so but the council are on his back as well and they don't trust him that much which is why um palpatine has to very much con convert anakin away from the council obviously putting him on the council is is a thing but uh also he he's trying to show the council for what they are sort of thing you know he's trying to in his view which i kind of like i like the the twisting he uses there he twi you know maybe i can help you lo not lose padme you know which is obviously her eye on it because anakin's anger is what causes padme to die so him trying to prevent that doesn't go well uh also i guess he thinks the kids have died with her so you know, she had twins, Luke and Leia, and I love the music. They really heavy, hard hit that home with, du, 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 I, can't, I can't do it, Padme's music and Luke's music. You know, um, that was kind of cool when they were saying, when we say goodbye to them and it's shown, right, this is what the franchise has led to. You know the rest of the story. Let's end it here. I like how they did that. But let's go f a bit back. Let's go to basically, you know, do it. And him killing off Count Dooku. I think it's Count Dooku. I think it's Count Dooku. Because there's I always get him mixed up with the guy with the arms. Um I think I've forgotten his name. But you know, it's either him or Count Dooku. But anyway, the guy with the beard, Anakin chops off. And he chops off his arms. I noticed that. I was like, ha, you chopped off Anakin's arm? Now he chopped off both your arms. What are you gonna say about that? You know, but then he's he's not gonna kill him. But then he gets ta taunt to do it. Do it. And, yeah, he kills that guy. Then it's a rescue mission with Hit it, trying, him trying to save the Sith, I guess you could say. And also trying to save Obi-Wan, literally Obi-Wan on his back for how this. And let's just give R2-D2 a mention because he literally flew up and burnt, burnt some droids and I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, also, the... Um, the the elevator lift scene was kind of cool. Um, yeah, Padme becoming pregnant comes uh, a bit of conflict, obviously, with uh, uh, Anakin's dreams. But Padme doesn't get a lot to do. I think this is the weakest amount she gets to do. But it's the whole story. She's very important to this story because she is the reason why Anakin goes off the rails and does what he does for the love. Um, which is the ongoing meme, you know. Uh, the actress said, what would you do for love? And then everyone cuts to, like... Let's get to the Steam White as well. Um, Master Skywalker, what are we going to do? He's just, uh, he just, you just know the younglings are dead at that point. You just like, Master Skywalker, what are we going to do? Da, 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 da. Sorry, I got a bit carried away. But yeah, it, it's the ongoing meme. Anyway, going past that, Yoda, I love in this story, the CGI'd Yoda everyone don't like, I love it, It's it, this is what I recognise Yoda as, I love it, him doing all sorts and then going back off with a walking stick after, you know, it's kind of for, fun, it's kind of cool, him actually taking on um, Palpatine at one point, you know, and the massive forcing, it's awesome. I love it. Uh, obviously, him going off to exile is kind of sad. We get Chewie in this, you know. Chewie and uh, Yoda and the, the gang. That's cool. But then we go forward with other things like uh, Samuel Jackson's character. Once Anakin warns Pal Palpatine's, you know, a Sith and stuff. Samuel Jackson's off with the council. And they're off to take out the pet. 
uh, Palpatine, but it doesn't go to plan. And Anakin helps the Emperor and then becomes Darth Vader. And Samuel Jackson's just <laughs> gone. Unlimited power! It's fun. It's cool, it's iconic, and yeah, it is, it is, it is Anakin's fate, I guess. From that point, he, Anakin goes on a rampage doing what the Order 66, I guess, which is an incredible scene of just constantly Jedi's getting destroyed, apart from Yoda kind of sensing it and going, nope. <laughs> um, Obi-Wan surviving that and then going off and jumping on Padme's ship because she's off to see Anakin. Uh, and then the whole twist of you turn her against me sort of thing Padme uh, getting choked which causes her into labour and causes her death so Anakin kind of does that to her so after all this I'm going to save you Padme you're not going to die I'm going to turn to the dark side I'm going to do it for you for love and then oops I'm sorry you know uh, yeah but also, we get the fight scene. Da, 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 da. You know, it's very cool. It's a very long fight. Uh, but it's awesome. Epic lava. Absolute. I have the high ground. Don't do it, Anakin. You underestimate my power. Yeah, feet are gone. Sit down, my lord. My lord. Sit down, Anakin. You were like a brother to me. What were you doing? What were you doing out there? You killed younglings. You turn to the dark side, and now I turned Irish, and I'm gonna go. See you later. He didn't do that, but you know, it was, that scene was epic, and obviously, what come after it, Palpatine bringing him from the lava and building up to Darth Vader being born. And then we kind of leave off with him and the Emperor who survived Yoda, and Yoda went to exile. We have the, the we have basically leading into New Hope. Um, so yeah, interesting stuff. I think this movie has a lot going for it. It's a long film. There's a lot to take on, you know, like the hello there with the droid with the arms, and you know, and that's all going on. The the clone water, the clones from the stormtroopers, I guess, you know, them turning on the Jedi, them working for the Emperor and stuff like that. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of impact and conflict. But it's this story really. You don't see it as a kid, or at least I never did, but I see it hardly now. As the, as the guy, uh, George Lucas, was saying, this is about family. This is about, uh, as much as it's got, got you know, lightsaber battles and stuff like that, this is all about family and love. And, you know, and I kind of see it now. I really do, after this watch, which I've never really seen before. I've more gone, oh yeah, Star Wars is cool. You know, I've watched number three endless times, but it's finally sunk it in. So, yeah, I, I think I have more respect for it now. And I think it stands up a lot more with the CGI than any of the others. Uh, and it has the best fight scenes. It has the best character development with a lot of characters to, uh, going to their fate. And Obi-Wan having to go off in exile, as you will, and uh, speaking to his master, you know. Uh, Jar Jar survived. Why did they survive? They could have easily got him in the in the Order 66 scene. I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give this out of 10. Let's rank it. I'm going to give this out of 10. Um, a 9.5. I think it's, it's near enough perfect in my eyes. It is the best Star Wars movie in my opinion. I bloody love it, and I watch it endless amount of times. So, yeah, that's my thoughts and opinions, guys. Let me know what you think down below. And as always, I will see you guys for more geeky content to come. This is definitely the place to be for a geek like me, so you might as well subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in a review very soon. And, yeah, have a nice day. And remember, may the force be with you. That was meant to be a cool ending. It didn't really work, but, you know. See you guys for another video there soon. Bye.